or will make it faster and more reliable. Thanks. And just from my experience uh, for the last 20 years, when people want, need to learn a new technology, they need examples. Hearing about generalities doesn't work because somebody who has a bed and breakfast will have completely different needs from somebody who has a retail shop. So I think if you really wanted to a key piece of your education program should be specific examples uh, for different types of business is here, here is where I am now with the best of what's available right now. This is what I will do once we have the fiber system in place. So what, how would you change your bed and breakfast business? What will you do? Um, you know, those concrete examples are, are what will make a difference and help people see what they can do. Because otherwise hearing the generalities really I, I don't think will do much. And that's a relatively simple thing to put together too. Um, I haven't seen much of a difference between broadband and um, high-speed internet. Um, all of the things that have been discussed today, I already can do. I'm really good at filling up a shopping cart. I can look at real estate online. I can buy insurance online. I, I don't understand. The only thing I think that we are saying here is that with the broadband, we're going to have enhanced voice quality and speed. How much faster do you have to go than what we already have with high-speed internet? I mean, you don't even see the screen change. You don't wait for anything. I don't see what the advantage of the broadband is, and no one can tell us what it's going to cost us. They say, oh, Kit Carson will develop the price. Well, when will Kit Carson tell us how much it's going to cost and what other services are going to be enhanced by it? Will we have TV included? Will we have telephones? Will they bundle? Will there be price negotiations or will there be a set fee? Right now you can call CenturyLink and you can say, I'm not happy they will send you to their retention department and they'll give you free this, $20 a month off of that. I don't know, will we be able to do that with Kit Carson? Or will there be a set fee? Will there be a contract involved? Because a lot of people are involved in contracts for some of their services and they're like two-year contracts and how do you get out of them when Kit Carson decides to go online? How are you going to join when you already have a contract? Or is Kit Carson going to pay off the contracts? Okay. Just a few questions. Thanks. Um, I know from, uh, from my perspective as a, as a business owner, um, the, uh, uh, the, the initial set of questions that you asked related to um, uh, the consumer side. So. What we want to do is get our businesses ready to be those people that sell to you. To get the businesses ready to be able to, to do business the way that these companies that you're filling your shopping cart with do their business. Because how is it that um, uh, you know, I can try to stream a Netflix movie, but every night about 9, 10, it just cuts completely off, you know, and then I have to try to get the stream going again. It's because I'm not getting true broadband. CenturyLink tells me that I'm getting 12 megabits because they're measuring it from my B&B to that little station right downtown a few blocks away from me. But from there out into the internet where it's actually streaming from is a different speed altogether. But they don't measure that and they're never going to tell me what that is. So we're talking about trying to get our local business community established to provide the type of service that we're buying from somewhere else or the the types of products that we're buying from somewhere else 
and to give John and Tausnet the capability then of actually delivering on the, the promise of the technology. So if we're not ready for that, when it hits our doors, we've, we've wasted 12 or, or 24 months.